Good Sunday morning, SJC family. These are your announcements. Seniors, parents, and guardians, we're excited to celebrate you, the graduating class of 2024. We've already emailed the details for senior days, but let's make it official. Senior Mingle on Saturday, April 20th at 4 o'clock p.m. at Chicken and Pickle in Grand Prairie. Don't miss the fellowship, food, and fun planned with you in mind. And we culminate senior days by inviting everyone to meet us for Senior Sunday. That's Sunday, April 28th at 10 o'clock a.m. Our seniors begin the morning with a special step and shoot photo event at 9 o'clock a.m. Then our worship experience for everyone will include the class of 2024 recognition. Seniors will lead throughout the worship services. Seniors, don't forget to check your emails and handle all your to-dos today. Senior days will be unforgettable. a hopeless marriage in this room not one no matter how dark it is no matter how hurtful it is no matter how discouraging it is there's hope St. John Church Biblical Counseling Ministry presents an in-person video seminar, Redeeming the Realities of Marriage. That's April 19th and 20th. Remember, that's Friday and Saturday. Registration is $40 per couple and $20 for individuals. Register today. The Young Adult Worship Night is Friday, April 26th at 7 p.m. at our Grand Prairie campus. We have an exciting lineup, church family. Trey Daniel, Kalia Tillman, Naya Cotton, and Reverend Sam Pryor. Our very own Greg Ellis, former Dallas Cowboy. That's right, church family, you know him. He invites St. John to attend the DFW Mental Wellness 5K Walk and Fair on May 4th. This is a free event. Everyone is impacted by domestic violence. Anyone can become a victim of domestic violence. All are invited to be a part of this important conversation. Women and students 13 to 18 years old. Join the Women of Victory on Saturday, May 18th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in our Grand Prairie Campus Family Life Center as we raise awareness to end domestic violence. Learn to recognize, respond to, and be resilient in changing this behavior. Hear from leading experts, advocates, and survivors. No one deserves to be abused. Our event will be held in our Grand Prairie Campus Family Life Center on Saturday, May 18th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and a continental breakfast and salad lunch will be provided. The registration fee is $25, but you can save by purchasing our early bird registration for $20 until May 1st. Attendees are asked to wear purple as a sign of unity in the fight to end domestic violence. Registration is now open. Kids Across America is a Christian athletic camp located near Branson, Missouri. SJC is scheduled to take 80 children ages 10 to 18 years old. The camp date is June 16th through the 21st. The cost for each camper is $325. The cost covers KAA fees, insurance, snacks, t-shirts, meals, and travel expenses. SJC has been attending camp for several years with testimonies of how KAA has impacted their lives. A donation of any amount would be deeply appreciated to help travel and food expenses. Donations may be made via Givelify on the Kids Across America line item. Thanks in advance for your support. Attention St. John families with children ages 5 to 11, you're invited to join the Children's Choir. Grand Prairie Choir rehearsals are on Wednesdays at 6.15 p.m. South Bay Choir rehearsals are on Sundays following 10 a.m. service. See you at our next choir practice, church family. Ladies, 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 it's time to start a Bible study where we develop an intimate relationship with God and build community. The book for this spring is Rest for My Soul. Books are available in the bookstore for $20. All classes are via Zoom. April is National Volunteer Appreciation Month. We thank and celebrate all of our volunteers for their dedicated service to God's kingdom and to St. John Church. Each Sunday in April, we'll acknowledge and celebrate our volunteers during each service. On Sunday, April 21st, Pastor Davis will pray a special prayer for our volunteers. Also on Sunday, April 21st, we'll have our SJC 5G ministry fair following the 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. services at the Grand Prairie campus and on Sunday, April 28th, following 10 a.m. at the South Lake campus. Members are encouraged to visit the ministry tables, get connected, and join a ministry. 
Church family, our very own Clark Joseph, Minister of Music and Worship Arts, will be the guest conductor in the 11th Annual Great and Grand American Choral Series in Florence, Italy, Wednesday, June 4th, 2025. Residency dates are from Friday, May 30th, 2025 to Sunday, June 8th, 2025. Choral registration participation deadline is November 15th through December 1st of 2024. The early registration credit for land residency packages is July 1st, 2024. Changing lives through the power of performance. Church fam, during the month of May, we'll join with our pastor and celebrate his 33rd pastoral anniversary. On Sunday, May 5th at 7 a.m., Reverend Dr. Anthony Sharp will bring the word. At 9 and 10 a.m., Reverend B.J. Braggs will bring the word. And then on the evening of May 5th at 5 p.m., we'll have a special service with Bishop Marvin Sapp bringing the word. Then on Sunday, May 19th, Reverend Dr. J. Wilden Gilbert will bring the word at all three services. And on May 26th, Matthew Watley will bring the word at all three services. We look forward to this time of celebration and worship. These are your announcements. Be blessed, SJC family. Doing more in 2024. Good morning. Good, mo Good morning, St. John family. Third time is a charm. I want to say welcome to everyone that's in the audience. And if you're viewing us online, I ask that you get your pen, your Bible, and anything else that you need because we want you to not miss any moment in the service on today. For our scripture reading this morning, I'm going to be reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, starting at verse 28. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases the strength. Even the youth shall faint and not be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. I like that part where it says that faint neither is weary, but there is no searching of his understanding. That means God knows and understands everything, and we can't figure it out, but we go to him because he figures it out. So this morning, let us go to the word of God. Let us go to God in prayer. Father, we come to you this morning. We thank you, God, for another opportunity to come into your house, whether in, in person or online, to worship you, God. God, we ask this morning that whatever we present to you in our form of worship, whether it be through prayer, song, word or deed that it is pleasing unto you and God I pray that each person under the sound of my voice will go out this morning different from the way that they came in what if they need to be encouraged you would encourage them if they need to be uplifted you would uplift them God I thank you in advance for what you're going to do and it is in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus we pray amen let us go higher with our praise team praise the Lord everybody come on let's stand on our feet and begin to bless the name of Jesus because he's worthy he's worthy anybody else came in here with a praise on their lips just thankful for the great things that the Lord has done has he brought you through danger seen and unseen has he kept you through this week come on I should have at least two or three praises in the house that can represent and just can exalt the name of Jesus because he's been a way maker he's been a promise keeper has he opened any doors I should have at least two or three people throwing up their worship throwing up their praise. I know it's nine o'clock in the morning, but we should have the fruit of our lips on our lips. Come on, open up your mouth and begin to bless the name of Jesus. Come on, open up your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Come on, clap your hands. All ye people, let's make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye land, come on, open up your mouth. He's so worthy. Our God has called us to triumph. And we came to give God some glory in this house. So come on, come on, clap your hands right here. Everybody clap your hands. Yes. That's a simple task. All you got to do is clap your hands. Because the Lord has actually been better than you. Been better than that. So at least you can do it. Clap your hands. Hallelujah. There you go. We know this song here at St. John. We declare this. My God. Yes. It's me. He's so strong.
me this world can't take it away I got it I got it I got it I got it come on let's bless the Lord in this place anybody got victory Anybody got the victory? I don't know about you, but I've come to give him glory today. We worship him in this place. He deserves our praise. He deserves our worship. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Come on, with the fruit of your lips, would you just bless the Lord in this house? Like it's just you and him here. Nobody but the two of you. What would you tell him? I love you. Lift your name. I worship you, God. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs. My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. Oh Lord, you deserve it. Yes, you do. You deserve it. My hallelujah. You belong. When I think of your goodness, God, My oh, it belongs from the depths of my soul. My hallelujah belongs. Yes, it does. Nobody like you, Lord. My hallelujah, it belongs. Come on, right here, let him know. You deserve it. Nobody like you, Lord. Great is your faithfulness, God. Yes, you deserve it. All of the glory belongs. Yeah. Come on, lift your 
we can ask you that's too hard for you. And so right now, God, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, we pray for an anointing, a fresh anointing, God, to rest on our pastor. Oh, God, and we pray that that same anointing will flow down from his head, huh? into the sanctuary, over the internet, dear God, touching, healing, blessing, every individual it meets, in Jesus' mighty name. Send us a word today, God. Send us a right now, rest of restoring name, word in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we're going to bless you. Hallelujah. We're going to praise you. Hallelujah. We're going to thank you repeatedly. Hallelujah. For you've been a mighty, mighty, mighty good God. Yes, you have. And we say glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. At this At this time, we would like to recognize our special guests. So if you're worshiping with us online as a visitor, would you please let us know by typing in the comments, I am a visitor. And online St. John Church family, let's make sure that we celebrate our visitors in the comments. Now, if you're worshiping with us in person, would you please stand and be recognized? Any uh, visitors on today? Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Welcome. You all may be seated. We are so excited that you decided to worship with us in person today as well as online. We have a small task for you that we would, we ask that you would take out your phone, text the word G-U-E-S-T, again that's G-U-E-S-T, to the number 87803. Again, that's 87803. And once you send that text message, you'll receive a link. We ask that you click on the link, fill out the form in its entirety, and then send it back. Once we receive it, we will reach out to you to once again say welcome to you. And if you have any questions or comments, we will answer those at that time. I would like to say on behalf of our pastor, Dr. Denny D. Davis, and the entire St. John family, we want to say welcome to you. If you're looking for a church home, we pray that you will consider being a part of this family. If you're just here visiting family and friends, we ask that any time that you're in the area, please do come again. Again, welcome to St. John, and thank you.
say, all say amen. 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 Tell your neighbor he arose. Amen. And I pray that he is arose or arisen in your heart as well. Amen. 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 Won't you put your hands together for this marvelous music ministry as they have been leading us in worship and as each of you have come prepared to worship the Lord with uh, not only your presence here, but also as you have joined in and singing as well. Well, we want to honor the Lord and continue to worship the Lord, uh, particularly in the way of our tithe and offering. Amen. And so if you are in need of a tithing envelope, an offering envelope here in the physical sanctuary, if you will just lift your hand high up into the air. Our worship service attendants are coming down the aisle even as I speak. And then whether in person or in the virtual sanctuary, there on the screen are the several different ways in which you and I can electronically honor the Lord with what he's entrusted to you and me. How many of you know that all that we have has come from the Lord? And all that we have belongs to the Lord. And so we want to honor him and demonstrate our trust in him. I want to invite all of the women that attended our Scent of a a Woman event to just lift your hand up into the air. All of you that made this event a wonderful success. Amen. Give yourselves a rounding applause, appreciation uh, as you made it a successful event and a wonderful time as you created uh, wonderful smelling perfumes, uh, but also you uh, shared in the wonderful presence and of the uh, grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. I just want to uh, invite you, will you put your hands together if that's something that you would like to see more of here at the St. John Church? Now, it was funny at 7 o'clock when I said that, um, we had some men clap as well, and I said, oh, they must have had some wives coming home smelling real good. (laughs) Anyway, uh, but uh, (laughs) amen, it's always good. We want to know what you appreciate and what we do here at the St. John Church. Also want to invite all of our volunteers, if you volunteer in any capacity, uh, whether that is as a greeter, an usher, in hospitality, in the choir, uh, whether it is in the council ministry, as a deacon, an associate minister, um, in our food ministry, in the Sunday school ministry, children, and we can go on and on. But if you serve in any capacity, will you just stand on your feet? This is Volunteer Appreciation Month, and we just want to honor all of our volunteers. I don't care if you just volunteer one week out of the the year um, or all throughout the year. Why are we appreciating you? Because we cannot do the work that God has called us to do here at the St. John Church apart from each and every one of you. Amen. And so again, let's put our hands together for all of our volunteers. We are so grateful for each and every one of you. I do want to remind us that this coming Sunday, a week from today, we will have a church outing, and that is April 21st uh, there in Plano, Texas at the Rama Life Fellowship where Pastor uh, James Thomas is the wonderful pastor. Amen? And so I pray that uh, if your schedule permits that you will join us on that afternoon, April 21st. He just blessed us at the 7 a.m. and preached a powerful word. And so I encourage you even to go to our YouTube On Demand, and you can watch that there as well. I want to invite all of our married couples to stand on your feet. You're getting exercise today. Uh, All married couples, stand on your feet. If you're married, I don't care if it's six months or 60 years, amen, will you just remain standing? Uh, If you are an engaged couple, will you stand on your feet? If you're an engaged couple... um, if you are an engaged to be couple, somebody's laughing. Now, lastly, if you are that group that uh, would like to get married, stand on your feet. Trust me, we have people looking around and they're noticing. <laughs> Amen. Remain standing in that. And so I've asked you to stand in that. I want to invite you to register for our What Did You Expect workshop. It will be this Friday, this Saturday. Um, It's going to be a wonderful event in which we discover biblical expectations from God's Word. We're also going to uh, discover what biblical commitments look like. And then also we're going to discover the wonderful grace that God has for this gift called marriage that God has given to us. You may be seated. 
And so I just want to invite you to register. If the truth be told is, uh, those of us that are married or who have been married, um, we have had expectations that were unfulfilled. And for some of us, we've had expectations that were fulfilled. And it will be a wonderful thing to discover the expectations that God has for us based within his word and uh, how the wonderful gift of marriage can really be enhanced within each of our lives and we can grow in the wonderful grace that God has for us. It is $40 for a couple, $20 for an individual. We're going to kick it off at 5.30 with beginning to uh, eat dinner on Friday and uh, we'll jump into three sessions on Friday and we'll come back on Saturday morning again with breakfast being served uh, at 7.30 and then uh, we will have seven different uh, uh, presentations on Saturday. We will be feeding you lunch and other refreshments. We're going to make you feel comfortable because we want to roll out also the carpet of hospitality to each of you. So we hope that you will join us. You can register uh, again through the QR code or out in the foyer. Amen. Last and finally, just a couple weeks, and, and this is very significant, and that is about to be May. And uh, we're excited because here at the St. John Church, May is the month in which we honor the wonderful gift that God has given to us. And uh, how many of you just appreciate the gift of Pastor Davis? Isn't it so wonderful to belong to the body of Christ where our pastor is truly a shepherd after God's own heart? And so I just invite you to be aware of the various events that's going to take place each Sunday. We're going to have wonderful guest speakers that's going to help us celebrate the wonderful gift that God has given to us. And then each Wednesday, we're also going to be uh, having guest speakers, pastors that, again, are going to continue to help us, St. John, to celebrate the wonderful gift of our pastor. Um, and so I just want to invite you and me to prepare to honor him, um, number one, in our presence. Uh, number two, as God has so uh, just blessed you and you want to uh, be a gift and a blessing to him tangibly, I just encourage you to begin thinking about that and be prepared to honor him here in the next couple weeks. Well, uh, again, that first Sunday, May 5th, we're going to kick off uh, with guest speakers that morning. But that night, all roads will lead here uh, to the Grand Prairie campus with none other than Bishop Marvin Sapp. And you and I know what a wonderful treat he is to the body of Christ. And so he will be preaching on that evening. Amen. So let's make sure we spread the word and let's show up in a large way. And uh, let's just have a celebratory time uh, with our senior pastor. Also on May 4th, um, <clears throat> it's my birthday. But did I say that, Deacon Johnson? I said that. I'm sorry. Anyways, uh, May 4th, all roads are going to lead to uh, 6805 Patrol Way, Dallas, Texas. Um, and that is going to be a mental health awareness walkathon. And that is sponsored and uh, put out there by uh, Deacon Greg Ellis, one of our deacons here. Um, and so want to invite us to join that. It's going to kick off at 8 a.m. What we do ask is it's a free event. We would want you to register. And so we do ask you to go to our website so you can register for that event. Uh, you see QR codes as well there. Uh, but in coming out, let's put on a St. John church. Amen. Let's let everyone know uh, that St. John is out there on the 4th, 8 a.m. Amen. Amen. Well, let's lift up our offerings. Let's ask the Lord's blessings upon our obedience. And uh, also above all, we want to say thank you for how he sustains and keeps us in every way. Gracious and eternal father, we thank you for how you care for us as your people. God, there's not one aspect of our life that is void of your presence and your goodness. And particularly, Father, we want to say thank you, and that is for how you provide to us um, substantially. And uh, we recognize that the tithe belongs to you. We ask that you bless each and every giver according to your goodwill and measure, 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold, however you see fit. And God, as your people will continue to testify that your blessings unto us are always pressed down, shaken together, and running over. God, take these gifts again. And may you be magnified and glorified. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, our worship service is going to be coming down the aisle uh, with the buckets, receptacles, and uh, you can drop that uh, physical gift there. Won't you put your hands together uh, for our choir as they prepare to sing? But the next voice that you hear will be from a wonderful son of the ministry. Um, he is a friend beloved, uh, a longtime friend of our senior pastor, uh, Dr. Um, Edwards. Um, he is a MD, a medical doctor, but also by right, he is a um, 
preacher par excellent of the Word of God. Um, he has not only been preaching, but he has pastored before, and so we are excited um, again uh, for him as God has uh, anointed and prepared for him this hour to declare what thus the Lord says. Amen. Will you raise your right hand and say, Dr. Edwards, preach the word. Dr. Edwards, preach the word. Dr. Edwards, we would see Jesus. Amen and amen. Uh, by the way, there is a Nissan out there, Versa, uh, with the license plates 3 N or M, B N M. And uh, again, this is a Nissan Versa, and I don't know where you are, but you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> Can you come and please move the car? Amen. Amen. God bless you.
Amen. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Eternal God, we do thank you now for this precious time we have together with you. You're such an awesome God. Can't nobody do us like you can do us. We thank you now for the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. We thank you for every one who has shown up today, those who are visiting us via satellite. We thank you now for what you're going to do, what you have done. And we expect the Spirit of God to talk to us today. Forgive us for our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Help us to become the very best we can become. Help us to be the best we can be. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You may be seated. I am excited today to, to be here to give reverence to God, to our pastor, all of the officials and deacons and all of you who have come today old folks say I'm just glad to be in the service so I do know that it has been noted that I am a physician but I don't care that much about that when it comes to talking about the word Amen. And so I'm thankful to Dr. Davis for giving us this opportunity to come and to share. And uh, on this Saturday, I'll be 73 years old. I want to make sure that I acknowledge my wife who, I'll tell y'all all the stuff a little bit later. I ain't going to hold nothing from you, but I want her to stand and, amen. Amen. I'm thankful to be here today. I learned years ago that when people are nice, they don't have to pick you to be nice too. And when they do, you ought to say much obliged. I, um, this, this has been a tough getting to this point today. I was, uh, I thought I was off this weekend and then they called me and said I was, uh, had to had to, had to work. I said, "No, I, I got I, I got to preach Sunday. I can't." They said, "Well, that's all, that's all right. Today is Saturday." <laughs> I said, well, wait a minute. Um, and so we got uh, kind of got that worked out, and it's a twenty-four hour shift. So I knew if I had worked all night last night, it, it ain't no telling what I may say today. <laughs> but but the point was. So I, I, I told the, the rep, I said, i tell you what I need to do. I said, I'm going to put a $500 sign in if, if somebody will come and leave me. And about 10 minutes later, the phone started ringing. I said, I figured I could get, uh, you know, you give a bonus of 500 for a few hours, it, <laughs> it'll, it'll be all right. Well, the guy that came in 
said, Doc, I, I couldn't charge if I wanted to. He said, I had written the check out and had it, had it ready for him. And uh, so, God's good. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. All right. Let's, uh, we're going we're gonna to take a few minutes to work together. And uh, we want to take just a few minutes and say a few words about the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to go to Mark's Gospel, chapter 11, and verse 20. Mark's Gospel, chapter 11, verse 20. And we'll read through verse 24. Mark's Gospel, chapter 11, verse 20 said, In the morning, as they passed by, they saw a fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, calling to remembrance, saith unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursest is withered away. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Have faith in God. Everybody say, Have faith in God. Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thy removed, and be thy cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe, everybody say believe, believe. that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire, matter of fact, you can just put your name right in there. <laughs> That you desire, when ye pray, believe, everybody say believe, believe. Uh, that ye have received them, ye shall have them. Amen. 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 We're going to talk just a few minutes. I've only got four pages, so it ain't going to be too long. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. I want to talk with you about faith working for us. Faith working for us. Over the last several weeks, Pastor Davis has been teaching on faith and the ancillary services of the church and those who are in the auxiliaries have been teaching on faith. And we believe that it is apropos to us to know just what God is up to when he's talking about faith. I said this because the, the devil is real tricky. Yeah, he is. He's tricky. And uh, he wants us to think Tuesday is Thursday. And we need to make sure that we have our speedometer on his radar. That uh, we are children of God. The price has been paid for us. And all he needs from us is what we can give him that God has given to us. And so we are, we're going to talk just a few minutes here about um, this, this faith because if you get it right, if you get faith right, you, you can love people who talk about you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some, and of course we've got, we've got kin people, all of y'all got kin people, I got kin people. I could say some ugly words too, but I won't do that because I'm trying to be a good man, trying to be a faithful man, trying to stick with the things of God. So I want to just take a few minutes here and, and deal with this. 
teaching on faith. Why am I talking about faith? Because by grace are we saved through faith. Not of our works, lest any man should boast. Victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. We walk by faith and not by, who said that? Right. Amen. So you can't, you can't always go on what you see. Because that may not be exactly what it is. If once they pull the, the trimming off of it, it might be exactly what you think it is. Amen. The prayer of faith is in James chapter 5, verse 15. The prayer of faith shall save the sick. Faith worketh by love. And I found out we, we're going to have to learn how to love ourselves a little bit, a little bit better. L love who you can be. And quit despising people that you can't be. Learn to love who you are. I, you know, Michael Jackson, you, you remember they, they was trying to get him, and so he went and got him some bleach and bleached himself trying to be somebody that he's not. I like who I am. Now, you may not like it, but I like who I am, and I don't ro really roll any apologies about it. Amen. And amen. So, I want you to just look quickly over at Hebrews chapter 11. That's our Hall of Fame of Faith. You know, I've been looking through this for years, and I have come to the conclusion. I said, God, I'm not quite sure, you know, because you got some, he got some pretty rough folk off in this Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah, there's some, there's some stuff going on off in chapter 11 of Hebrews. Amen. <laughs> and so I wanted to, I wanted to, you know, my question was, I, how, did, how did they get off in there? You know, that lady, that last lady up in chapter, th in th verse 30, you know, that would let, you know, Friday and Saturday was her day. Y'all know who I'm talking about, don't you? Okay. So how did she get off in there? And he told me, mercy. I said, what'd you say? He said, mercy. And had it been not for mercy of us, had he not paid the price? Pray with me while I talk. So we looked at this Hall of Fame of Faith, and it's a variety of people that's off in there. But you know what I found out? I found out people that's a lot of time in the street they, they can do a whole lot better in the church because they, they know the ropes. They ain't trying to be somebody they not. And so I, 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 I said, I, I can see now why you got some of them people off in there because they know how to do what needs to be done. Amen. And let me, let me let's, let's do the first spiritual principle here. The first prin uh, spiritual principle that we're going to talk about under this faith that's for us is that the purity of faith, the purest kind of faith is obedience. See, a lot of folk don't mind Jesus save, being, you know, being their Savior, but they don't want him to be their Lord. You don't tell me what to do. I, I don't, yeah, I don't mind, you know, at the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light, but don't tell me no more after that. So a lot of people... Or not, they don't mind being saved. That, that, that's no big deal. But telling them what to do and how to get it done and the, and the practice that you're going to have to put yourself through to become who God has made you to become, people don't necessarily like that. So obedience is God's plan to reward our lives. You find anybody who stay, stand with God and who do what they can to obey God. You will always see them uh, 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 moving up the ladder. Amen. Amen. So obedience is, 
is God's plan to reward our life. And I assume when I looked over in Hebrews chapter 11, that's what God was doing. Yes, they had some issues, but, but primarily they knew that they had a relationship also with God. And, and, and some of us, don't, don't look at me funny now, just look straight ahead. All right, don't look straight ahead. Y'all got some stuff going on, need to be changed. Just look right straight ahead. Don't look to the right or left. All right. I see some of y'all haunching. Quit that haunching over there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But when you learn how to obey God, and I know sometimes it seems like it is adverse to what you ought to be doing, but when you learn to, to obey God, you will be blessed. He told Abraham, he said, Abraham, I want you to go get your son. And I want you to take him down, and I want you to offer him up as a sacrifice. And I, I could see some of us saying, well, you know, I had an uncle that was preaching. He never asked me to do nothing like that. My <laughs> uncle never said nothing. We had to go cut somebody's head off, that kind of thing. But, but, the, but the fact of it is, is, is that Abraham became the father of the faithful because he obeyed God. And, what, and, whatever, and whatever God asks you to do, I grant you he's got a backup plan. If he asks you to treat your husband right when he's acting a fool, I hear he's got a backup plan. Why y'all looking at me like that? Amen. So go get your son, take him down to Mount Moriah, offer him as a sacrifice. Got up that morning, didn't send no telegraphs out, took him down there, laid him on the, on the on, he laid him down and said, listen, that's what you told me to do. And that's, that's what we have to come to know, one of our spiritual growths is that we've got to learn how to obey God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And, uh, the woman, I, I, I think it's in Samuel, the woman had a, her and her son, a, her husband had died, and they had gotten down to the last meal. And so the, so the, so the guys, the, the prophet said, listen, take what you have, and let's, let's, I'll show you how to do it, and we'll, we'll have enough to eat. The, man, the woman said, I ain't got, this is my last meal for me and my son. And the next thing I know, she was eating for many days. Yeah. Because she obeyed. You, you, I can tell you, God is always working on your behalf, baby. He, he, she, he, he ain't going to leave you by yourself. Amen and amen. So let's look at the prayer of faith. The prayer of faith is Mark's Gospel, chapter 11, verse 24. Listen at this. I, I want you all to follow this because this, is, this has helped me out a lot. Mark's Gospel, chapter 11. Listen to what it says. He said, Verily I say unto you, that whatsoever shall, whosoever, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thy removed, and be thy cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in it, shall not doubt where? In his where? Don't doubt where? In your heart. Don't doubt in your, in your heart. But what? Believe. Everybody say believe. believe. Don't doubt in your heart, but what? believe that those things which he says shall come to pass he shall he might 40, 50, 60, 80 percent chance he may he says whatever whatsoever you have he said therefore I'm saying to you what things soever you desire scratch ye out and put your name in there when you pray put your name in there Everybody said believe. believe. Boy, that believe is that's 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 the, that's the, that that's getting to us there. Yeah. See, cause cause a lot of folk will, oh, glory, hallelujah. Talk about talk God. But they don't believe them. <laughs> Am I right? Is this is, is this is this all right? They don't believe it. They don't, they don't believe it. Trust God for his word. 
And I'll tell you, he'll work it out. And can't nobody stop him. He says, when do you pray? Now. Here's the key. You're only going to get what you believe that you receive at the time that you pray. You go to choir rehearsal every night you want to. You're going to have to believe that you received it even though you don't have no evidence of it. You don't, you, don't, you don't have to, listen, we, that, our kids, that we, 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 we've got to continue to work on them. Everything ain't on the, on the uh, computer, uh, what is it, cell, cell phone, whatever it is. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Everybody said now. You got to believe it now. Everybody said now. Because if you believe it now, you can put your name down there because the blessing's coming a little later. And I know sometimes it doesn't look like it's going to work out. But I promise you, God is not a man that will lie. Man. And if you, 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 I want you just to understand this is, this is a key I- issue. See, when you believe something, you don't come back and ask somebody a second time. Y'all ever had kids to say, listen, Mama, I'm going to, you going to take me to the store? Yeah. About 10 minutes later, they come back, Mama, you going to take me to the store? <laughs> well, what he's saying or she's saying is that I'm not quite sure. I don't know if I can believe you or not. I better come back and ask you a second time. Amen. But we are... We, we got a God, once, once he puts us on his, on his listen, you, 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 got to, you got to get yourself together. I love God. I, I love him. I'm, I'm going to live for him. This, this sad, uh, old folks say Saturday. This Saturday, I'm going to be 73 years old, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep loving him. I'm going to keep talking to him. I'm going to keep believing he has a blessing for me. Pray with me while I talk. Amen. I believe it. That sells it. Ain't no more arguing. Ain't no more talking. He said it. I believe it. Amen. We have to also, number, number two, we have to also be intensive about getting things right. If you don't know if the word is telling you, you have to get it right. And you get it right by working over and over and over again. You, you keep getting yourself together. I don't find out, I don't know how people in everybody else's business, why do they do that? Why do they, where they get that kind of time from? I, ain't, I don't understand it. Because by the time I get through with what I'm going, I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> I don't work on this all day long. Amen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me, let, me, let me hurry up and get on out of here. <laughs> The devil don't want you to know how dirty he is. He goes back and forth as though a roaring lion. Y'all seen that? Remember that in the Bible? I did some research on the the lion. Now that joker, he he lay down behind that in those grass, and then he got those big old shoulders. He, I tell you, he just, he's, he's, he's a bad dude. Now, what I found out is that while he attacks us, he got a little bitty heart and he got a little bitty kidney. And if we can stay in the game, we'll put him on dialysis. 
<laughs> oh, yes. We'll have him at the cardiac unit. I want y'all to fight with everything you got. Amen. Yeah. That's why he lay down over there. Now, yeah, he'll get you and he tear you all up. But look here. Don't you bad down. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Ephesians chapter, chapter 1, verse 3. And I'm on. Let me say this. Whatever you have surrendered, you have to submit to that. If you say, I'm, I want to be with Jesus, you're going to have to submit to that. You can't pick and choose what you think is going to be best. Because he knows what's best. So, let me, let me, let me, let me close here. We got a, we got a tough road ahead. Demons and their angelic hosts, they are out. And they ain't just campaigning. <laughs> we we got to work. We got to, we got to, we got to, you know, stiffen up that spine and our, our back. So we've got a we've got a tough road ahead. But guess what? I know somebody. His name is Jesus. And if he can't fix it, I don't want a second class guy doing nothing else for me. Jesus paid it all. All that he couldn't save me with mercy, he went around the, down the street and got him a bucket of grace. And just every time I look around, he just blessing me. Now, who wouldn't serve a God like that? I'm thankful to be here today. All heads bowed and eyes closed. As the music plays, plays softly, all heads bowed and eyes closed, no one moving, no one walking. I have a couple of requests I want to make. If you're here today and you say, Pastor, I've never accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I've never given my life to Christ. But all heads bowed and eyes closed, I'd like to say this to you. Don't wait another day. Do it while you got time. Tomorrow is not promised. You said, Pastor, that's me. I, 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 didn't, I come today, but I didn't even plan on giving my life to Christ. But if that's, that's you, you said, Pastor, when, while you're praying for others, would you pray for me? Would you raise your hand? You said, Pastor, I've never accepted Christ as my personal Savior, Lord and Savior. Would you raise your hand if that's you? I want to pray for you. Make sure... That we own the same accord? You said, Pastor, not saved, but I want to be saved, not right with God, but I want to be right with God. If that's you, would you be so kind to just raise your hand and say, Pastor, that's me that you're talking to. Amen and amen. My second request is that I've been saved a long time, but I need some tuning. I need some training. I need some Love, I need some affection. I've, I've just not been the way that I needed to be. 
and I want to rededicate my life. You said, Pastor, that's me. If that's you, say, just raise your hand. Don't be ashamed. So, Pastor, I, I want to rededicate my life today. I want to do it today. If that's you, would you just raise your hand, said, Pastor? Amen. Amen. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Eternal God, we do thank you for this time together. Teach us the faith that we need to walk upright. We love you and we thank you for what you've done for us and what you're going to continue to do for us. We thank you now. We bless you in Jesus' name. Stand on your feet all over the sanctuary. I'm going to invite you that if that was you on this morning, the choir is going to sing one more time. Our officers are coming forward. I want to make sure that you have an opportunity to step out to the nearest aisle and make your way down. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God hath raised him from the dead, the Bible says thou shalt be saved truth is that's where our faith walk begins it begins in coming to the saving faith of Christ as he paid that price on Calvary's cross for our sins if that's you my brother my sister will you step out to the nearest I'll make your way down and again if you don't have a church home but yet every time you show up here every time you tune in here God is delivering your mail here. I want to invite you to come and be in fellowship with this Bible believing congregation. Amen. Will you stretch forth your hands towards these two that have come as we thank God for David and Carlos as one is coming for church membership recently moved to the location and another one coming for special prayer. 
How many know that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we may ask or think? That the prayers of the righteous availeth much? Let us pray. Gracious and eternal Father, we thank you for the very evidence of your work on this morning. Particularly in these two that have come forth. God, how they've even demonstrated faith by moving forward. God, that faith is not of ourselves, but rather of you. And so, God, we thank you that it is very evident that you are moving in each of these gentlemen's lives. God, you know what each of them are in need of. And God, we know that we can have the confidence of that very good work that you began. You are faithful to complete it. Thank you for David and for Carlos. And God, we ask that you would just continue to strengthen them on the inner man. God, as they trust you and as they walk this faith journey. God, as they prioritize your word and submitting to your Holy Spirit in obedience to that word. God, God, that you would glorify yourself in and through each of them. And God, we just celebrate with them. And we celebrate with the others the work that you're doing in the virtual sanctuary for every decision that has been made. In Christ's name we pray. And all God's people said amen. amen and amen again. Won't you put your hands together for our wonderful good God and for each of these individuals. St. John, put your hands together again for Dr. Edwards. What a tremendous gift you are, Dr. Edwards, to the body of Christ. And we're so grateful that God ordained you to be with us and to use you as his instrument on this morning. Amen. I want to invite us that if you arrived late, maybe you tuned in late and you have not had an opportunity to worship the Lord with a tithe and offering. And so if that is you, my brother and sister, and you are in need of a tithing envelope here in the physical sanctuary, just lift up your hand. Our worship service tents will be coming down the aisle, but whether in person or virtually, there on the screen is the opportunity to honor the Lord and to worship him with what he's entrusted to you. But St. John, I also want to encourage us, let's be a blessing to Dr. Edwards, amen? As God has graciously used him to be a blessing to us, we want to give thanks and we want to pour in to Dr. Edwards and just say thank you and continue to strengthen him. So I want to invite you that you can go to Givelify. There is a line there that says guest preacher. Uh, you can do that guest minister as well as you can raise your hand up into the air if you have that physical gift love offering. Uh, we have a green envelope uh, that says face seed or you can just use the simple uh, white uh, offering envelope and just put on there uh, Dr. D. Edwards. Dr. D. Edwards. And you might even want to say thank you and I appreciate you. Amen. Amen. As we get ready uh, to close out and we look to God for the benediction, I want to say a great big thank you to each of you that came out on yesterday, and that is for our uh, awareness of child trafficking. Just lift up your hand if you were here on yesterday, if you were here, if you joined us, amen, or even if you volunteered in some way, amen. We had a wonderful turnout, and the truth is um, that is something that needs much attention. And so we thank God for Reverend Elena Carraway and the team that uh, partnered the uh, Grand Prairie Cab that came together. Um, it's, it's, it's an issue that's not just in our streets and our community, but across the metroplex, across our state, across this nation, and, and truth be told is across the globe. And uh, we want to say it's not in my house or it's not on my street or it's not in my neighborhood. And the truth is it is. It is. It's in the grocery stores. Um, I, I had um, my oldest daughter and a friend and my youngest daughter in a car just in a local Arlen neighborhood. And uh, my oldest daughter and her friend got out and went into a store and my youngest daughter was in there. And there was individuals that was driving up and looking and peeking into the car where my youngest was. Y'all know I got some good looking girls too. But that scared me. It scared me. Because as soon as my daughter and her friends began to walk that way, they quickly took off. Y'all, but it's not just by that way. It's also coming in subtly. And that is through the uh, social media. And it's drawing their attention. It's catching their attention. 
And so you and I need to be on guard. Amen? Amen. So we thank God again for those who came out and look forward to uh, continuing to host that and become more aware and get involved and uh, become an instrument of action within our community. Amen? Amen. Well, let's stand on our feet. Let's look to God for the benediction. Again, I pray that if you have that uh, physical offering that you will drop that uh, in the bucket receptacles with our uh, worship service tenants as you exit the sanctuary as well as. Don't forget, uh, you have the opportunity to sign up for What Did You Expect? Our wonderful marriage enrichment workshop that's going to take place. And then don't forget, we have our midweek Bible study, 12 noon uh, here in person at the Grand Prairie campus. You are invited to join us as well. Again, won't you put your hands together again for Dr. Edwards? Thank you, Dr. Edwards. Thank you, Dr. Edwards. Gracious and eternal Father, we thank you for what eyes have seen, what ears have heard. God, how in your sovereignty you have strategically spoken to us individually and collectively as one body in Christ. God, as we prepare to leave one another but never from your presence, God, we ask that you would continue to enlarge within us your faith as we continue to turn the ears of our heart towards your word and trust you for all things. We ask this in Christ's name, and all God's people said, amen. Will you hold your mule just real quick? Will you just hold your pew just real quick? And that is, let's be in prayer for two of our families, okay? We had um, the grandmother of Deacon Willie Stapleton. Uh, Her name, uh, Lizzie Mae Hudson. She passed away yesterday in um, Jackson, Mississippi. And so let's lift up the Hudson and the Stapleton family, as well as also let's remember the Crater family as we will have the homegoing celebration of Connie Crater, the wife of Charles Crater, mother of Chelsea Crater, and mother of Cornell Wiley. That will be this coming Saturday, 11 a.m. here at the Grand Prairie campus. And then also a beloved brother, part of the male chorus, um, Harold Haynes made his transition to glory. Uh, Let's be in prayer for his family. That service is pending. But uh, how many know that God has the very comfort that they need? Amen. Amen. God bless you. Can't wait to see you next time. Don't forget to tell somebody how much you love them. And more than that, how much God loves them through Christ Jesus.